Hello everybody, Faxbase here with 10 types of monkeys too. Monkeys are adorable little creatures that are found mainly in tropical areas where they either inhabit the trees or the forest floor. All monkeys fall under the primate classification. There are more than 200 species worldwide. Number 10. Bald Uakari The most distinctive feature of the bald uakari is its bright red face, which makes these monkeys look permanently sunburned. In contrast with most other monkeys, the bald uakari's tail is very short, less than half of its body length, but their fangs are strong and well-developed, perfect for breaking open thick-skinned fruits. They are mostly found at the Yavari Marin River, which lies at the border between Peru and Brazil. When they are preparing to sleep, the bald uakari monkeys first form groups of up to 200 before drifting off to dreamland. Number 9. Bonnet Macaque A bonnet macaque is what you would call a cute monkey. There are two subspecies of bonnet macaque which inhabit the southern regions of India. The females have pinkish faces in a tamer shade than the fiery red of the bald uakari. These monkeys have comically arranged spiral hairs on the top of their heads that give the impression that they're wearing hats, hence the name bonnet macaque. Should they be unable to find their preferred food in their wild habitat, they have no problem sneaking into houses and even temples in search of a snack. Number 8. Southern Pigtailed Macaque As the name indicates, the southern pigtailed macaque has a funny little tail that is held semi-erect and resembles the tail of a pig. These monkeys are docile omnivores that love eating seeds, fruits, and berries. They also snack on fungi, invertebrates, and cereals. Pigtailed macaques are found mainly in rainforests, but they have been known to wander around in gardens and plantations. They are a threatened species, and only around 900,000 are left worldwide. In Thailand, pigtailed macaques can even find work. They are trained at a special school where they are taught how to pick coconuts. After their training, they are able to pick up to 1,000 coconuts per day. Number 7. Vervet Monkey The vervet monkey is found over large parts of sub-Saharan Africa and are easily recognizable by their coloring, which is black over the face, ears, hands, feet, and tip of the tail, and a white band over the forehead. They are a very valuable research asset, but sadly, they are also seen as pests, which means they are often slaughtered when they enter into areas inhabited by humans. And much the same as humans, vervet monkeys adore their infants who are born with black hair and pink faces. Number 6. Bleeding Heart Monkey Geladas or bleeding heart monkeys are the last survivors of a once abundant species of grazing primates. They are only found in the mountain meadows of Ethiopia and are mainly grass eaters. They climb steep rocks and love sleeping on ledges. Gelada families travel together during the day and they often form large groups of up to 1200 individuals. The dusky red bald patches of skin on their chest led to them being nicknamed bleeding heart monkeys, and they have the most opposable index fingers and thumbs of all the primates. Number 5. Emperor Tamarin The Emperor Tamarin might as well be called a mustache monkey because of its distinct white whiskers that take on the shape of a mustache. These monkeys are native to the southwest Amazon basin and it's believed that they were named after German Emperor Wilhelm II. They have long red tails and prefer the habitats of mountain, forest, and lowland. The females usually give birth to twins, but triplets have also been recorded. Emperor Tamarin monkeys can usually be found foraging for food at the very tips of tree branches because they are light enough not to break them. Number 4. Green Monkey during the second half of the 16th century, green monkeys were introduced to the Cape Verde Islands as well as the West Indian Islands. They are mainly found in West Africa today, with one small colony in Florida. As their name suggests, these monkeys have green-tinged fur, and they also sport tails with a golden yellow tip. 
green monkeys communicate in verbal and nonverbal ways and sometimes use their facial expressions to convey their emotions. They feed on fruits, seeds, insects, and gum, but are also known to feast on small birds and lizards. Number 3. Blue Monkey Blue monkeys are also known as diademed monkeys because of the white fur on their forehead that resembles a diadem. There are seven subspecies of blue monkeys that inhabit the forests of eastern and central Africa, but they have to constantly outrun hunters because their meat is a local delicacy. Fortunately, they are not on the endangered list just yet. Blue monkeys hardly ever touch the ground as they have fully adapted to living in the treetops where they usually roam in groups of up to 40 individuals. Number 2. Snow Monkey The snow monkey is one of the smartest monkey species on Earth. They are quick to pick up a new skill which they share with other members of their troop as well as their offspring. They even know how to clean the grains they collect by dunking them into water and waiting for the sand and dirt to fall away. In 1953, a snow monkey named Emo taught her family how to wash sweet potatoes before eating them. Snow monkeys also live up to their name by making and playing with snowballs during winter in their habitat, which is three of the four main islands of Japan. Their thick fur, which covers everything but their faces and their behinds, shield them from the cold. And when they need a little extra warmth, they visit the hot springs found in the Jigokudani Monkey Park near Nagano in Japan. Number 1. Rollaway Monkey It has been estimated that there are only around 300 rollaway monkeys left in the wild and just 36 living in captivity. These monkeys are beautiful arboreal primates who sport long beards and orange-colored patches on the back of their legs. They are endemic to Ghana and also found in a couple of reserves in the Côte d'Ivoire. Rollaway monkeys are very special creatures and communicate with members of their troop using vocalizations and body language. This includes a warning call whenever a predator threatens to attack. They also have a gathering call, which is emitted by the dominant male. Because their numbers are so critically low, there is still a lot that scientists do not know about the rollaway monkey's daily activities. It is hoped that ongoing preservation efforts will change this fact. Thanks for watching.